Eh, yeah, throw that away. I don't want to go. Besides, Sunday's my internet porn night. Oh, yeah. You're my Chinese Lois. There are plenty of things that are much worse for children than television. Like when Peter babysat for the neighbor's kid. All right, uh, I couldn't find your toys, so uh, why don't you just play with this blow dryer and these rattles? Yeah, guess that's it. Well, you probably want me to get out of your hair, so uh, here's to Drano in case there's a clog. Uh, soap's right there next to the radio, and towels are on the roof. So, uh, good night. Oh, hey, did they ever unfreeze Walt Disney? Uh, unfortunately. Welcome back, Mr. Disney. Are the Jews gone yet? Uh, no. Put me back in. <laughs> Don't worry, Lois, I'm good at finding people. I was the one who found Bush after Hurricane Katrina. Uh, Mr. President, are you up there? Go away! Sir, there's a disaster in New Orleans. I'm reading Super Fudge. You gotta come down and deal with this. Don't make me do stuff. Oh, man, I can't believe I'm sleeping with a model. I'm luckier than the state of Rhode Island. Well, I can't decide what to call this place. We'll flip a coin. All right, heads, Rhode Island. Tails, Kakapupu Peepeeshire. You're watching BBC Four. Previously on Condensation. Ellen. There's moisture on the outside of my glass. It's condensation, Johnny. But what about the fog on the windows? It's not fog, Johnny. It, too, is called condensation. Condensation. Yes! Ah, oh, this is more exciting than that time I got to ride the washing machine. <laughs> You know, you really shouldn't lie on that bedspread. I saw this report on TV about how filthy hotel rooms are. In a moment, we will use the special lights to see just how filthy this seemingly clean hotel room really is. Yeah, yeah, no arguments, Brian. I already went through the trouble of borrowing this ramp from Joe. I'll see you, honey. I'll be back in a while. Joe, are you all right? Don't help me up. I need to retain my independence. You need anything from the market? Power bar! Oh, wow, I feel like an explorer. Just like my ancestor, Ponce de Leon Griffin. There it is, boys, the fountain of youth. Just like I told you. Well, that was worth the eight-year boat ride. And now back to the facts of life. Hey, Mrs. Garrett, can I ask you something? What is it, Joe? Is it a problem if your penis and your vagina touch each other? What? Well, I tried to keep them separated, but uh, I woke up this morning and they were sort of together. I, I just didn't know. Is that okay? You have both? Well, yeah. Doesn't everybody? No! Wow, that sounds even better than when I got paid to take part in that study. Hmm. The only one who couldn't finish the puzzle is the fat one. I'm sorry. I can't see what you're going for here. What, uh, let me look at... Oh, it's a jar of preserves. Oh. Yeah, I guess that's what all the red pieces were, huh? Ooh, Rupert, bad idea trusting the Celtics. Worse than when I trusted Brian to pack my parachute. <laughs> I'm not worried about high school at all. Worst case scenario, I'll carve out a niche as the effeminate male friend of the popular girls. Okay, tonight's my OC party. I got a case of wine coolers so we can drink every time Ryan seethes. Cool, I'd love to come. Me too. How'd you get the wine coolers? Oh, it's not. I just did some stuff for a guy in the parking lot. Does anyone have any scope? For God's sakes, you're embarrassing me. Not as embarrassed as I was when I got that job entertaining prison inmates. Do it again, Griffin. Oh, come on. I just did it like five times. Do it! My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours, damn right. It's better than yours, I can teach you, but I have to charge. And now back to Blind Justice. Blind Justice. He lost his sight, but not his vision. I need you to go down to 54th and Main. Talk to the suspect's wife. While you're there, see if you can get a sample of his hair to match his DNA. All right, I'm on it. You know, Chris, a little hard work can do wonders. Just look at how they built the pyramids. They say all peoples must go through some hard times. Well, we Jews are getting ours out of the way early. From here on out, it's going to be nothing but smooth sailing. The Bible also says a senior citizen built an ark and rounded up two of every animal. 
Hey. Yeah? What the hell is this? Oh, you didn't really give any specific guidelines about mating. Did you name it? What? Did you name it? Uh, yeah, he's Paul. Yeah? Well, it's gonna be a hell of a lot harder for you now because he's going the fuck overboard. Yeah, and don't try any of your salesman funny business. Like that guy who convinced me to buy that pet Tyrannosaurus. Okay, Patches, now fetch. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. Ew, it's got spit all over it. Well, don't take it too hard. You're not the first person to get fired. Look, uh, Louis, the French people really want to thank you for your services as king, but, uh, it's just not working out, and we've decided to go another way. So... <laughs> yeah... Well, kids, just when I thought we'd never find an assistant coach, I ran into this drifter hanging out near the elementary school playground. He's got a clown costume in his trunk, so we know he's good with kids, and pictures of boys in their underwear, so uh, he's probably had some medical training. Well, I'm going to take off while he fits you for cups in that windowless supply shed. See ya. Boy, Stewie's more wound up than Dad was that time he took steroids. Peter, could you please pass the potato? <laughs> ah, damn it, Meg! <laughs> Stress release candles for those extra tough days at the office. Oh, you don't know the half of it. On Tuesdays, I work returns. Yeah, I bought this boom box here, and it's got this high-pitched whine. Well, let's have a look. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> it's yours now, sucker! Now I know how Alec Baldwin feels when he feeds his brothers. There you go. There you go. Eat up, Stephen. You're the weakest. I haven't been this excited since I learned how to speak Braille. Hey, bump, bump, no bump. Bump, three vertical bumps, four bumps in a square. <laughs> yeah, I've heard they all look alike. Oh, God, I feel more delirious than my cousin, Stewie Cruz. I'm in love with Katie Holmes! I'm in love with Katie Holmes! I'm not gay! Go see my new movie! I'm in love with Katie Holmes! I'm not gay! Well, I guess it couldn't be worse than that summer I spent in India. Whatever you do, short round, don't touch anything. Okay, Dr. Jones, I no touch anything. <laughs> Lady only here cause she humping director. As mayor of Quahog, I hereby sign into law the legalization of marijuana. Good evening, everyone. Our top story, marijuana is now legal. Le le is now legal. Legal in Quahog. And it's made everything just so great. Okay, you, you can read the next one. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't. No, you. Okay, okay, okay. Well, let's let's read it both together. Okay. Ready? Okay. Here's, Here's Ollie, Ollie Williams, Williams with a Blacky Weather, weather forecast. forecast. How's the weather look, Ollie? Not too bad. Right on. See, Lois, tell me things in Quahog aren't better now. It's just weird, Brian. I still don't think I'm comfortable with the whole idea. Look, Lois, ever since marijuana was legalized, crime has gone down, productivity is up, and ratings for Doctor Who are through the roof. Yeah, but Pete is so baked lately, he can hardly set up a cutaway. Man, this is even better than... Uh, th no, wait. No, this is worse than... Uh, better... I don't know. Hello, Griffin. Mr. Pewdishmit? Hey, how you been? Not good. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Wow, a limo, huh? Hey, are these diet rights just to take? No! Those are my diet rights! Now listen, Griffin. Thanks to your dog's stupid marijuana crusade, people are using hemp for everything. Fabric, fuel, and paper. Which means I'm losing billions in timber dollars. I had to sell my bangles records. I was still working on memorizing all the words. My back is hurting from the chair I'm sitting on. Where's the tile and all? If I lay down flat on the floor, it usually kind of fixes it. Tony Danza from Who's the Boss says, a o a o o a o a o I'm losing money, and it's your dog's fault. Now, I have to get hemp illegalized again, and the only way to do that is to start a fear campaign designed to turn people against pot. Will you help me? Gosh, Mr. Pewdishman, I, I could never go against Brian like that. I'll give you this light-up butterfly yo-yo. <gasps> to keep? Not to keep. You can use it today and one more day in the summer. Yeah! Pull over. Bye! <laughs> 
right, Connor? I finished cutting together our anti-part video. Take a look. Hey, I got a great idea. Let's kill six million Jews. Hooray! Yeah! Yeah, I'm on board. How did you come up with that? I got the idea from, from, well, from while I was smoking pot. Anybody else who likes pot, reach for my joint. Oh, there it is. Give us some of that. Ha, ha, ha. Perhaps later. Now let's go to France and steal all their objects d'art. Yay, all right. Let's go to France. Not bad, eh? Oh, damn it. That was Fox News. Apparently they own the rights to Hitler's likeness and they won't have him slandered. Hi, I'm Peter. You know me from the movie Harold, Kumar, and Peter go to White Castle. As you can see, I'm enjoying a White Castle burger. Why? Because I don't do drugs. Took me five minutes to get to White Castle. I didn't get diverted by all those crazy hijinks. Because I don't get high. It was a good movie, though. You know, Neil Patrick Harris got the job on How I Met Your Mother because of that movie? You know, I've only seen that show once, but i got to tell you, what's really weird to me is why is the voice of the guy from the future Bob Saget? I mean, the guy on the show, he's already an adult, you know, so it's not like he's going to grow into Bob Saget. Doesn't make sense. Thank you for your time. Well, what do you think? Look, Daddy, I agree with what you're trying to do, but I just don't think this is going to work. It's so artificial. You're asking for a spanking, young lady. Yeah. All right. Peter, the reason Brian succeeded in his cause is that he spoke with such passion. No offense, but you two just don't have that talent. Are you kidding? I can be very persuasive. That's how I used to lure wayward sailors to their deaths with my siren song. Well, we Koreans do not age. We pay Cambodians to do that for us. I seven year old. I work for Suji. I am so proud. This must be how Benjamin Franklin felt when he discovered electricity. No one will ever know I'm doing this weird thing. Oh, I just got the idea for bifocals. And now, a public service announcement from husbands to wives. Hello, wives. Did you know that filling up the ice trays takes only two seconds? Here are other things that only take two seconds. Turning off the light, putting the tops on stuff, hanging up a towel. Also, how about some sex? I'm tired of masturbating in the bathroom after you go to bed. We now return to Extreme Home Makeover, Troubled Latchkey Kid Edition. Oh, hi. I just finished my two liter of Mountain Dew. Let's head outside. When my dad ran out on us, he left all his power tools. So now I like to drill potato butt. It's not that great, but it's something. Here's an old microwave I bashed into a tree. Under the house is a good place to throw the stuff I break and kill. Okay, let's take a break and get the deaf girl to show us her hairs. I'm saying it because all you're gonna find with that thing is junk. Oh, yeah? Is this junk, Lois? Because it just found this? That can't be good for my brain. No, Peter. Stewie is not junk. Tunzi das nicht! Besides, the fat man knows what he's doing. No, he doesn't! He never knows what he's doing! Don't you remember when he gave that deposition? Look, I don't think I'm any different from anybody else. Sometimes you got time to kill in a hotel room. Sometimes there's a mirror on the wall. Sometimes you look at your own stink hole in the mirror. Push your own stuff up there. It's fine. It's just you. Trying all kinds of looks. Pull one cheek to the side, maybe both. Set up a camera, watch it later from a different angle. Put a stethoscope on, pretend you're a doctor. Why should that matter to anyone but me? Sir, the question was, is this your signature? Okay, guys, I buried some beers in the backyard for just such an emergency. So here we go. All right, drink up, gentlemen. Peter, those aren't beers. That's the skeleton of a dog. Rufus? But Lois said he went upstate to live on a farm. Wait, if Rufus is here, then where are my beers? Honey, times are hard. I gotta take these beers to market. But Ned, we promised! I told you not to name them! The Family Channel presents Scraps the Love Puppy with Director's Commentary.
We actually used four puppies for this role. The first one died of exposure. The second one apparently had cancer before we even got it, so we didn't even finish a day of shooting with it. And the third one bit a grip, who then proceeded to beat it into a paste with a gobo arm. You can still see the crimson outline in the background of the shot. We tried to wash her down, but there's only so many days in a shoot. Fourth dog nailed it. We all cried when we brought him back to the pound. This is PBS. Funding for this program was made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and viewers like you. Hi, I'm you. I love TV. I make this possible. It's day three of Quahog's new ban on alcohol for anybody under 50. And if there's one thing the new drinking age law has done, it's let us know that women tell terrible stories. We now go live to Trisha Takanawa with more. Trisha? Tom, I'm standing here at an awful brunch with no mimosas. Let's listen in. Did anyone see what Cheryl was wearing at the PTA meeting? Yeah, I thought it was fine. What? I can't drink anymore? You know what? Maybe it's for the best. Time to stop drinking and start giving something back. I'm gonna work with the homeless. Hey, which one of you bums got liquor? Oh my god! Joe's completely paralyzed! Let's eat sushi off him! That was a weird first thing to say, what? Hey, Cleveland, how's the job search going? Not bad, but it's tough out there. Well, do you even open those links I send you? Peter, all you ever send me are links to old men pleasuring each other. Okay, good. So at least you're out there looking. That's right. I'm gonna keep everyone on this street safe, like Captain America. Captain America, can I see your shield for a second? Sure, here you go. He's just a guy. We now return to Will They Eat a Deviled Egg? <laughs> he cracked! <laughs> the <laughs> made him do it. Excellent. This show's so stupid. <laughs> the yoke's on. Hey, guys. Hey, Peter. Hey, you know how drinking's the most important thing in any of our lives, but we never say that out loud? Seems like we should talk about that over a drink. Yeah, well, anyway, we thought that since it's such a nice day, we were going to get some beers and drink outside. You want to come? Yeah, that sounds good. Let me just check with my secretary and see if I'm free. Ah, uh, looks like you're free till, uh, four, Mr. Griffin. Everybody drunk! Jeez, how many penis-suppressing straps can one guy own? Hmm, Donna might enjoy trying to sneak her bottom into these jeans one cheek at a time. She can't dress wet. She gotta be dry. Bye, Glenn. See you around. Who is that? That's the box I was going through last night. <laughs> all right. Oh, Glenn, it's like your foghorn leghorn and all the women are chickens for your plucking. And they all say, Oh, man! Quagmire, we have to know how winter summer ends. Yeah, this show is our whole life now. We're like those guys who hang around comic book shops all day, even though they don't work there. So, uh, you need help with a delivery? Nope. Need to put any vintage comics in plastic sleeves? I think we're good. All right, well, I'll just stand in the back and play with myself over my jeans. That was really great, Jake. Really, really great. Your face is upside down, so we're not going to pick you, but thanks for coming. Come on, just change the ad. I'm upside down for peanut butter. That's one right there. Peanut butter turns that frown upside down. That's two. I could keep going. Peanut butter is... You got two good ones. Damn it. This has been a worse trip than my visit to the Museum of Flight. And this is the Fightin' Lil. She's a B-17, and she flew the most bombing sorties in the European theater. Huh, interesting. And, and where is Snoopy's doghouse? That was stolen by a fat guy in a ski mask. Oh, so still no lead? Do you say you can't get man stick? Here, this is ground powder from a rhino horn. Take two of these and watch Bring It On. Wow, thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I, d I don't know your name. I'm just gonna make a noise. Tell me if I'm close. No, that is my brother. 
My name is Caitlin. Well, thank you, Caitlin. When I get home, I'll transfer enough money so you can rebuild your town. You've all been very kind. Now, everyone hop in place and pump your fists in the air as we walk slowly to our vehicle. Peter Griffin, freedom for Peter Griffin, Peter Griffin, let my Peter go. <sighs> all right, I'll take you. I guess I can deal with it. After all, I put up with Peter always thinking it's the rise of the machines. We don't have long. That's awesome! Oh man, I haven't been this excited since we went to that Mexican water park. Excuse me, sir. Have you had active diarrhea in the past eight days? No. Well, you're about to. Peter, you've got to change his mind. He's got to stop taking those pills. You're right. If we don't fix him soon, it'll be a bigger disaster Good than- Good morning, everybody. Oh, for God's sake, Meg, you ruined the setup. Yeah, how come you're not wearing your bell? Did you chew it off again? It keeps me awake. And I should be allowed to enter rooms unannounced. Not while I live and breathe, Meg. But yeah, we'll get Chris straightened out. Ah, here comes Meg. Brian, quick, let's go play tennis. That's awful, honey, but you'll just hang in there. I'm sure people will come around. I'm not so sure, Mom. Even online, I'd become a total outcast. Oh my god. No more Facebook friends? No more Twitter followers? No more Instagram followers? <gasps> he without Tumblr reblogs is nothing at all. A comment on our time. And scene. <laughs>